So I thought we'd take an, a look at an item I built uh, quite some time ago. Uh, I think a decade plus ago. Uses the AY3 8500-1 uh, chip and an AY3 8515-1 chip. This is an implementation of Pong. It's the General Instruments Pong implementation along with uh, the, the color generator for it. Uh, this was a prototype that I put together. I couldn't get a modern television to actually sync up to the video this generated and I tried a number of things. I uh, couldn't get the color, <coughs> excuse me, the color to capture correctly. Uh, uh, it was just really painful. Uh, I never actually got it to work on a modern television. Uh, you know, modern LCD flat panel kind of television. It just didn't sync. The colors didn't translate correctly. Uh, it's got a circuit here, a 3.579 uh, megahertz color burst crystal. Little cap to tune it for the color generator. And then I think later on I actually modded it to use a 3.579 crystal oscillator to get a nice stable clock for the color generation. It still really didn't work. Uh, you know, put a fair amount of effort into this. I just found this in a box recently as I'm shuffling through stuff. Anyhow, there was a prototype. Uh, previous to that, I had built this. And the date I've got on here is October 2006. Must be when I built it. I know I found someplace on the web uh, somebody had built something similar, had built his own Pong implementation, and I think I actually stole the graphic from him, although I don't really remember. But, uh, you know, it's the same kind of thing. It is Pong, uh, the GI chip. Don't have the color uh, generator chip on here. It's just black and white. Uh, you know, very much hand-built, 9-volt batteries floating loose in there. Very old-school LED. It does light up when the power's on. And of course, auto manual serve, large or small paddle. I don't remember what 204020 does, and fast or slow speed. And of course, you can pong the four variants of the game that the chip provided. It does have video and sound out. Uh, sadly, I don't have a composite monitor with audio with me. They actually went into storage last weekend, although I do have just a straight composite monitor without audio that we should be able to hook this up to and give it a test. The paddles are just simply small project boxes with a potentiometer, a large knob, and a serve button on the side. Of course, there's two of them. Uh, anyhow, I thought it might be kind of fun to get a monitor out, power this up. Uh, and make a go of it. This is actually using the Vero board. You know, it's got the traces cut away to do all the interconnects uh, along the horizontal paths so you can see where the copper has been removed. Whereas this prototype was just wire wrapped. This is maybe made a little bit more robust circuit. Uh, not sure. So, let me dig a monitor out, find a video cable, and we'll see if it plays Pong. So I've dug out my old green screen composite monitor. It's powered on. I've got a raster. I've got a very cheap composite video cable here. We'll plug into the one labeled V, which probably means video, and we'll turn it on. Hey, we have Pong. So uh, let me have a play with it. Put it on slow, because I'm slow. Large paddle, auto serve. There's one of the paddles. Now, does it have a... Is it just single... Oh, it looks like it... Well, that's actually pretty nice. Uh, So, it doesn't have, oh, okay, it's got a, 
Wow, if that's slow, I'm really old. That's pretty cool, this still works. Looks like I built it in 2006. I wish I had a bit of sound for it. bring both paddles into play now. Well, hopefully this is more exciting for you than it is for me. I remember now why I didn't play a lot of Pong. Although as a kid, early 70s maybe, I don't remember when the home versions of Pong first hit. Uh, my parents eventually got me one and I played the hell out of it. Uh, and it played a single player mode where uh, the computer paddle just did this constant up and down and never missed. And it was really interesting and I got the great idea of opening it up, unhooking the uh, the player potentiometer when it was in against the computer mode and hooking it to the uh, signal it was driving the other potentiometer and that way both paddles moved up and down in unison and it was quite interesting because it never lost, it just played forever. Uh, it was a complete transistor implementation. There was no IC in it. Well, it's pretty cool to see this attempting to work. I wonder if the old prototype still works. Yeah, I suck. This is why I don't play first person shooters anymore. Oh, the game is over. So there is what I'm assuming is two player. Uh, it's two player back and forth. Okay, that's hard to do shuffling it around. Uh, I don't know what the 2040 oh angle. So, let's go back to a single player game. The ball's not appearing. That's fun. Well, that was interesting that the uh, all stopped appearing. So anyhow, a little blast from the past, something I built in 2006. I know part of the design came from something I found on the web. Uh, part of it from me playing with the GI chips. I had several rails of them at one time. I have no idea where I got them. Looked for them the other day, couldn't find them. I may have eBayed them off. They may just be in a box someplace. I had at the time wanted to uh, design a PCB and you know and, and sell some kits, uh, but the idea was to have it playable on a flat screen TV. And just because I could never get sync, uh, at least on the few flat screen TVs I had available, the project kind of got abandoned. Well, hopefully I'm not boring you too bad here. Well, let's look at the uh, prototype, see if it works. So I've got power supply hooked up over here. It's not on at the moment. Coming over to the board, I'm going to start with 5 volts. The uh, other one ran with 9. The crystal oscillator, however, is only designed for 5 volts. Uh, I'm looking at this. That's probably a 5 volt zener sitting there, actually, looking at the design up to the positive rail. That must be a 5 volt zener sitting there so I could take the input voltage up higher. I don't remember. I don't remember why there's two mode switches that are wired. Uh, one of them goes to the color bar generator or the color generator. The other one goes to the game chip itself. And I'm trying to remember 
if the play potentiometers boy this is a fragile build we're up here or if those were trying to set video levels uh, I don't remember if I had potentiometers on I know that's a reset well, I'm going to turn the power supply on and we'll see what we get well, it's trying to generate some sync. Let's bring the voltage up a bit. Oh, it's hit compliance. I've got current limiting set on the supply. Uh, if it draws an amp, we've got problems. Cycle the power on it. Well, so far this isn't looking particularly uh, good. Although it re probably requires at least six volts to operate, I guess. I mean, they were meant to be battery powered. Ah, we're getting sync at seven volts. But not much more. I'll bring it up to the nine the other one was running at. Don't remember what these pots do. That one seems to be an audio level. And I'm guessing I tried to mix perhaps signals on these two. There's a line moving across the screen. That pot is really, really dirty. Ah. You can just make out just make out zero zero. So the frame is being drawn. Yeah, I must have put these in to tweak video levels, perhaps. I'm sure this one was just audio. Well. Sure, these are just one of four. Well, not real exciting. Like I say, I know I at some point gave up on this project. I don't remember if the color chip also added extra games or not. It's been way too long. I'm sure. If I pull that out, we we'll lose all video. Yep. So, so the color generator is being driven off of the oscillator and not the crystal circuit. Well, I'm not surprised this doesn't work. It got hacked and hacked and hacked on trying to get a good uh, sink that a monitor could attach to. It's drawn 260 milliamps. Not actually surprising. Yeah, project I will probably never resurrect. Now, there's a prototype that doesn't work at this point. And we do have sync in there. It's just the color levels are just a nightmare. Uh, well, the video levels. That pot is really dirty. I can 
under or overdrive it quite a lot. Uh, that's about the best I can get at this point out of it. Which looks like it's the ball angle, etc., which means this switch here must select the game. You probably have to have a game selected. That switch did nothing. That switch does nothing. Smell something getting hot. Well, tis what it is. Hopefully, this wasn't too horribly boring. Of course, I can see on the camera the uh, sync between the frame rate on the camera. And the monitor out, so you're getting that nice, at least on my view through the camera, a little scrolling. Uh, I don't know what to call it, brighter video scrolling down through the, the video of the monitor. Anyhow, there it is. Quick demo of my little home-built Pong game from 11 years ago, apparently. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk soon.